In this video I will cover the most basic usage of the Sulfur Nimbus World Editor. If you are interested, you can follow along and try it out for yourself. So the first thing you do is to open the launcher and click the little triangle button. Then enable developer mode in the list. Then start the game. What this will do is to skip the main menu and to enable the developer hotkeys. The first time you do this you will be taken to the empty map. On subsequent runs it will take you to the map where you left off. You can press tab to open the editor. Uh, the editor is a separate window and you can click the main window to select it. Uh, most of the hotkeys require you to have the main window selected. You can press tab to go back into gameplay mode. When you return to gameplay mode it automatically saves the map. Uh, you can press and hold down this load button and you can hover over uh, the name of a different map to load it, then release the button. Uh, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. If you hold down the middle mouse button and drag, you can move the camera from side to side and up and down. If you hold shift and drag with the middle mouse button, it rotates. Uh, you will notice that the camera movements uh, are pivoting around the object that you are pointing at with the mouse. Uh, this takes some getting used to, but it is quite useful. Uh, a uh, quirk is that if you uh, hover over the sky, your camera movements become very large. There are some camera options down here if you would like to rotate while not holding shift and move while holding shift you can use this option. If you would like the camera to work more like in Blender then you can disable this button and uh, this will make the camera rotate around an imaginary point. Uh, a feature of this is when you zoom in your camera movements become really small and when you zoom out they become large. Uh, you can move the imaginary point in and out if you hold control while scrolling. Uh, personally I prefer using the default mode. For now let's go back to the empty map. Uh, you will want to give your map a, a new name or otherwise it will overwrite the empty map. Uh, when you are making a mod, it is a good idea to start your uh, map name with th the name of your mod, followed by a forward slash and the name of the map. Then you can save, or you can click in the main window and press Ctrl S. This will also save. The editor is object oriented and at the top you will find a list of classes which are types of objects. If I select vol axis block this is a type of box object which uh, you can collide with in the game. Below here is a list of constructors. Select one by picking a tab and these uh, tabs contain parameters for creating new objects. If I type 32, I can go into the main window and press space to create the object. I can now move the object around and left click to place it. Since I specified a scale of 32, this object is created with a scale of 32. You will notice uh, previously this was the map properties, now it is object properties. You can right click in an empty area to deselect the object. This will bring you back to the map properties. You can right click on the dot to select the object again. So the object properties are in these tabs. This is where you change the properties of an object after you created it. Uh, the constructor properties are only for creating new objects. When an object is selected you can press G to grab it, then you can move it around. Uh, you can press S to scale it, 
and then move the mouse. If you left click, then you uh, complete the operation. If you right click, then you cancel it and it goes back to the way it was. When you are performing an operation, such as scaling, you can press X, Y or Z to select an axis. This will lock the scaling to that axis. For example, if I set, if I press Z, then it will scale only, only along the Z axis. You can see this item right here. It indicates where the axes are. Z is the blue one. It's pointing straight up. You can also press R to rotate, but this particular object does not support rotation. This rotation uh, tab is grayed out. But if I select Vol Z block and create one of those instead, this object can be rotated, but only around the Z axis. If I select the vol block and create one of those, then this object can be rotated in any direction. You can select an object and press X to delete it. You can also press Ctrl Z to undo and Ctrl Y to redo. If you select an object and press Shift C, then it centers the camera on that object. You can create a checkpoint object to set a potential starting location. If I now bring back the map properties, then I can select the initial checkpoint here. This will determine where you start when you tab out of the editor. You can also give your objects names in the location and metadata tab and this makes it easier to find your objects. You can also press Alt C to set the initial checkpoint to the selected checkpoint. Here is a list of the controls used in this tutorial. I will put it in the video description. Keep in mind this is only the most basic usage and future videos will build upon these concepts. Finally, at some point you might need to mess with the game files, so you will need to know where they are. Open the launcher and press the little question mark. There will be an option to help you locate the game folder. In the Flatpak version, the folder location is copied to the clipboard. Paste it into the address bar of your file manager and press enter. In other versions, it will open the folder automatically. Take note of where it is so you can find it later.